Hi, Rob here. I make it bad and that's what I do. So I found this video. Is uh, you can watch it down there about Bruce Lee doing one inch punch. And this guy is claiming there's no one been able to do uh, replicate Bruce's one inch punch. And that's ridiculous. First and foremost, I can do it, I can explain it, I can teach it. It's simple. So what is Bruce Lee doing that? Well, first thing he's doing is this. Look at his body. He turns his body like this a few times. Right? Now, why does he do that? Because this is what happens with the body when you're doing the one inch punch. This, if you do this alone, there's no power here. Right? So, to create power, you need to use your body, utilizing your body properly. So, what is the Bruce doing? Look at this. First, I hold my hand like that. When I turn my body back like this, my hand stands in the same place. Right? So, I'm going to turn my body slightly, and then when Bruce does that, he put his weight onto the front hip, a little bit forward, so he turns his body away from and then goes forward. Then he turns his body back as he stands up. He stands up now, right? Now when he stands up, look at my arm and hand now. He moves forward. Where do you think the power comes from? This is simple body mechanics. So Bruce does this a few times, yeah, yeah. and then he does that, and then you have a one inch punch. He just stands up and turns. And then he stands up and punch. That's the power move. Now obviously he practiced that, he did it for a long time, to optimize it, to make it more efficient, and you go and you know, like that. You see how much my body turns? Because the mechanics in this, when you're standing up, is what happens. And when you do that correctly, you will feel the power because you're using your whole body weight because your body goes into this forward. Boom, boom. It's just that. Boom, boom. Once you drop down, a little bit forward, you're standing up, and you use your whole body weight into that, and you are done. And this is, you know, the reason why this guy is telling you and everybody else that no one has been able to replicate uh, Bruce Lee's one-inch punch in 50 years or whatever, is because he doesn't know what he's talking about. I have a skill set that most people don't know exists. Last year I looked at Sandra Nelson, she's a ski cross. She competes in Olympic events also, you know, it's a, an Olympic event, ski cross, against three other ladies. And she won like 23 events in a row in that kind of sport where everybody started at the same time. So obviously she's doing something different than other ladies do. And I looked at that and it took me a couple of minutes to understand, oh, that's what she's doing. And here's the thing, now I can teach that to the other ladies, but I have no experience in ski cross whatsoever because I don't need that because I can teach them to ski cross faster and compete better. The people coaching those ladies who have education and uh, blah blah, they can't do it because they don't understand what they're doing, apparently. If they did, it would change what the, what the ladies are doing in ski cross. And this is very common out there in the world. You're going to have people telling you that no one has been able to do things. Well, you have people like me who can, you know, who can do it, replicate it, and teach it, and explain it in a way that you know you can understand. All Bruce Lee is doing is turn his body, drop down, standing up. Once you practice that to, to, to the extent, you have your whole body mass going into this. And that's where the body comes from. The, the body helps create the power yeah, otherwise, you know, you have nothing, you have the arm, and that's nothing, right? Yeah. So-called expert, or not so much an expert. When you don't understand something, you're going to tell people things that are stupid, like that. Yeah. Right? Anyway, I'm too tired now to continue to do this. I have a disability called MBC events. That means I can't really work on this stuff. 
and uh, actually just doing this is exhausting for me so yeah so enjoy that uh, because when people don't understand things they're gonna tell you stupid shit all the time and you have to learn to understand that many of them have no idea what they're talking about at all but I do <laughs>